Hello YouTubers. Uh, right now um, we are starting my clutch job. To take down the subframe we have you know the four main bolts which are on each corner. Uh, you need to take off the lower ball joints on this side and loosen the rear sway bar right here, right here, on both sides. And then the mystery, the thing that keeps getting it hung up is this AC line. This AC line is bolted onto the subframe so if you're trying to drop it and it's not dropping, you are stretching the hell out of that line right there. So yeah, it's got a mounting point up there on, and this is on the very front of the car. And then, you know, the back and the front motor mounts. And that should be all to drop the subframe on this car so you can easily get access to the bottom side of the car. Right now we got everything pretty much undone. Uh, right now we've got to take the starter off because it bolts through the motor into the transmission and it's kind of a bitch to get to and then all it is is taking the bolts out uh, right here there and i don't think there's one up there but and that's it and then the transmission can drop but we first got to get the starter out and it's all the way tucked underneath there but okay so I really didn't get to videotape the back half of the repair or changing out the clutch uh, we just wanted to get it done it's you know, we started at 2 30 Saturday we just got finished putting everything back together uh, we did a few other things we did like the uh, bushing inserts and uh, mounted the new rear muffler we're doing all this because I am traveling now an hour to work and back it's just gonna be really hard on my car the thing had no life left it, it started uh, grinding into the rivets that held the clutch plate on it just it needed to be changed it looked terrible the friction surface uh, was all scored and I'll see if I can get to work tomorrow because I, I think I still have some cleaning up to do. The worst part about this is staying under 3,000 RPM for over 500 miles. Yeah, that's going to kill me because I like to wreck the shit out of this car. I am 1% done already with the clutch break in. Today I'm just putting on some uh, exhaust hangers on my rear part of the muffler, the axle back. Uh, this mid pipe came from another kit and the flange is twisted a little bit so it's kind of rotated a little bit to the, uh, the right and I just bought some extended exhaust hangers right here. Yeah, you know, I just bought three just you know, to see which one will work the best because um, these ones are just a little too short. So when I did my clutch job, I put in these energy suspension motor mount inserts. They are pretty stiff. They basically transfer every bit of vibration of the motor into the cabin of the car, but they work. They work very well. Uh, I'm eventually going to get better motor mounts because the back one right here was shot and it kept lunging forward every time I shifted out of like third. I didn't like that because it, I felt like it was hurting the transmission because I could feel it like thunk out of out of here. These things were like 27 bucks. And I have to say they, they do what they say. They are a pretty good alternative to buying a full motor mount kit. Right now for me that's just temporary. Uh, just to keep the motor from rocking back and forth. 